One of the exciting things to see in the fall is all the pumpkins and squashes at markets, and I picked the right one. When we saw butternut squash the other day, I noticed that I never cooked it before. My kid was also curious about what the cute looking squash tastes like. Today, we are making butternut squash gratin. First, we prepare the gratin cream, which is going to be inside of the squash. Chop onion. Peel the garlic, or you can use the garlic paste. Cut the bacon into small strips. Add butter in the heated pan. Add garlic or garlic paste. Now add the onion in a stir fry. You can chop the onion smaller, but follow your preference. Add the bacon. Add salt and pepper. Add a consomme cube. If I don't have these consomme cubes, I would use vegetable cubes instead. Basically, I want to add some vegetable and chicken base umami flavor here. Turn it down to low heat, add flour and a quickly stir. If I don't do this quickly, it gets easily burnt and in lumpy. Pour milk in and a mix well. Then the cream is getting thick and very creamy. Then turn off the heat and remove the cream in the bowl. Cut the butternut squash into half. Microwave the squash for 8 to 10 minutes. Then it gets a little softer and then it will help for the curving. Now my kid will take over the cooking from here. Get a spoon, take out the seeds first. Then curve the squash about a half inch from the skin part. You will use the curved squash meat for the gratin cream, so save it for later. It's his first time curving the squash, but isn't it doing good so far? Now mix the curved squash with the cream you made earlier in a bowl. 
Place the squash on an oven tray. Stuff the cream into the squash now. Top with some cheese. I used a mixed cheese with American and mozzarella cheese. Also, my kid doesn't like cheese actually, so one of them is without the cheese. Oven should be ready at 400 degrees. Bake for 15 minutes. Bring it out to the table. Take it into itadakimasu. 